Well, Fraser, looking ahead to, to Blythe on, on Saturday, it was an entertaining game here last year. I, I guess from your point of view, something a little bit quieter at your end would be would be nice. Yeah, um, I remember the game last year. It were it were full of goals, um, and it were a bit a bit one of those games where they they score, we score, and all, all that. But we ended up winning. Um, and we played them away and, and won again, so hopefully we can uh, get the result on Saturday. And obviously, you look at their season, they've picked up a few wins, and most notably, the, you know, the Chester one. I mean, if you can hit that many goals past the team in, in this division, you, you know, they're, they're a serious threat. Yeah, I've always said you can't, you can't underestimate anyone in this league. Um, every team's strong and, and, and got their own, uh, bring their own uh, threat. Uh, so we're expecting a tough game on Saturday, and uh, we'll be ready. We talk about the confidence you get from a win. So if we're looking at Boston, is it more important for you the confidence from the clean sheet as well? Yeah, I think obviously unbeaten as well. Um, I know we've had a, a few draws, but it's it's still momentum to take in uh, to his next game. And I think definitely the the two nil win is a is a good result away at Boston, and uh, hopefully we'll we'll carry it on. And we talk about. You know, trying to maintain an unbeaten run through winning games. It sounds an obvious thing to say, but if we can start gathering more clean sheets, you're almost always halfway there, aren't you? If you can shut out at one end. Yeah, I think I think clean sheets is a main one. I've been a bit disappointed so far, to be fair, with the, with the with the the goal, some of the goals we've conceded. But I think as a team, we're starting to like gel a lot better and we're a lot stronger. And you could you could see at Boston. We I mean, we defended for. For uh, the second half, unbelievable Vaughan, a couple uh, like goal line clearances, and it just shows that we're all wanting to, to desperate for that clean sheet. And obviously, if we we know we're going to score up up the top end with it with the attacking we've got, so yeah, we just it's our job to keep a clean sheet. What do you make of the season so far? Because whilst there's a lot that stayed the same in terms of player personnel, you talk about new management, new system, a new way of going about things. It, lads seem to be settling into it quite nicely. Yeah, it's always a big thing having a new system, but I think uh, it definitely suits our team uh, a lot, a lot better. I think it's me personally as well learning a new position uh, right at the three, which I think's uh, another a good thing. And the managers brought another side to my game, uh, an aggressive side, which again I'm, I'm glad I'm like learning it. And uh, I think the the managers. Stamped his authority early doors in pre-season and stuff, and it shows. Uh, it shows in the games. And some of those lessons, as is always the way with the group of young players, have to be learnt the hard way. I mean, you look back at the Ashton game, the three-three, certainly the first half of that game. Do you look upon that now as as a bit of a turning point into the start of the season? Yeah, I do. To be fair, because we, we didn't before that game, we didn't. We never started, but we've always started well. And that was the, the first game where we hadn't started for the first 20 minutes, half an hour. And we've always said that that that'll never happen again. And uh, since that game, we've we've started unbelievable in, in the games that we've been playing. So we'll just uh, hopefully keep that going. And nice as always to be playing um, here at Agra. The games all settled down a bit now. We're into September as mm. opposed to uh, at least a couple of weeks. But always in, enjoying playing in front of the home fans. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 good walking out in front of the home fans like it always is. The support's unbelievable, and uh, I think yeah, it's. Um, it's one of those where we've we've we count the games are calming down a little bit. It's always going to be fair, hard at the start of the season with the Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday. But we're, all the lads are fit, and uh, the lads that I'm being playing will, will be ready to be called upon if if needs be. So yeah, I think we're ready. And do you sense almost like from the players, the management, and the fans that sort of new relationship starting to to build together now? I mean, you could see. Uh, the celebrations, only one win of course at Boston, but mm. the lads really enjoyed that celebrating with the fans at the end and the gaffer lead from the front. Yeah, way, I know, you, you can see the gaffer on the, on the sidelines, he, he loves what he does and I think that, that the fans like that as well, the passion uh, and he's he's taken that onto the pitch as well, the, the players are a lot a lot, passion, like, a lot more passionate and in the changing room when we're winning it's, it's, it's good togetherness. So. Yeah, it's looking forward. It's it's looking good. And conversely, and just as important, when things aren't going well, that that passion shows itself in in, in the manner it should, I guess. Yeah, I think we, we've come in a couple of times at half time this season already, um, one nil down or, or in a, maybe a bit of a sticky situation, but we, we've kept calm, and we know that come the the 60th, 70th minute, we're, we're going to push on because we're fit, really fit. So, and it's shown that that. I think personally in the games, towards the back end of the games, we've we've really dominated, and uh, obviously, like I said at Ashton, where we got the late the late equaliser, it's it's showing.